I think we all know that there is no shame in Washington, D.C., especially amongst the Republicans. Constantly doubling, tripling, quadrupling down, they can't admit guilt or even that they're wrong. But apparently that has leaked over to the Democrats as well. Senator Robert Menendez from New Jersey, he was indicted on Friday. His home was raided. And in his home, they found $100,000 worth of gold bars, of all things, and $480,000 in cash. Also, apparently, a Mercedes-Benz. Now, when you're caught red-handed like that, how would you react? Well, it turns out Robert Menendez, who is a Democrat, decided to take a, take a tip from the Republicans. He did exactly what they did. He doubled, he tripled, he quadrupled down. He said he's unequivocally not guilty. You don't know all the facts. Well, we do know you had $100,000 worth of gold bars in your house. I mean, who the fuck has that? Not to mention $480,000 in cash. Now, a couple of things that Robert Menendez said was they're just coming after him because he's Latino. <laughs> and then he said, you know, that money, that cash, that's just me going to my regular bank account, taking money out every so often and stockpiling it because of safety reasons. I wanted to make sure I had ready cash. Well, we keep cash around the house here, maybe a hundred, maybe five hundred, at most maybe a thousand dollars, depending on how life is going. But almost five hundred thousand dollars? You're a US senator. You get paid a lot of money. You're getting money from all other locations. Why do you need four hundred and eighty thousand dollars in cash? I suspect there's more evidence than we know thus far, Robert Menendez but you're going to still double down. He says, I'm not going to resign. In fact, I'm going to keep up my reelection campaign. Yeah. So every time you look down your nose at Republicans, know there are some Democrats that aren't any better than the Republicans. It's just that the Republicans have been so prolific, it's hard to notice the Democrats. Well, times are changing. I think a lot of people that are grifting this country and cheating to get through are going to get caught. And maybe we'll finally have some changes where these elites and these alleged leaders feel like they can do whatever the fuck they want.